it's back. The last play you've all been waiting for. Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Today, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Alrighty, guys. It's We're back. back with a little more Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. It's me, Floodmon 14. How's it going? Uh, last episode, we finished up the beginner duel puzzles. We did the last, like, uh, I think it was from uh, 8 to 12. I'm not exactly sure how many there are, but we finished them up. Uh, anyway, and uh, after that, we bought a few packs. We bought out the first one, two, three, four, five. Uh, four, I mean, packs. So, as you see over here, there's quite a lot of new packs. Well, maybe you can't see. Hang on. As you can see over here, there's quite a few new packs we can buy. Uh, the Forever Ones, Roar of Demise, that sounds awesome, and Device Tactics. Um, but we're going to start from the left, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and buy... Yeah, this one. Broken Seal. Alright, let's do it. More cards. More buying. Yeah, and I, I don't know how long the uh, card pack openings will go, but like, we'll, do, we'll do about, you know... Um, 20 minutes each part, you know. Uh, also, I went ahead and started uploading the first two episodes, you know, with the puzzles. Uh, that's actually, that's actually rendering right now. Looks like it's at 31% and 28%, so there we go. Um, but yeah. So, got that going on in the background. Hopefully it doesn't mess up with this recording, but, uh, anyway. Any new cards? Oh, yeah, we got, uh, yeah, so, there's a couple, of, there's quite a few cards like this, uh, destroys our warriors, destroys all insects, uh, honestly, out of all of them, the ones that destroy dragons, warriors, and machines, those would probably be the best ones. Oh, we got an Exodia piece, the right leg. Yeah, dragons, warriors, and machines are pretty common in just about every deck of this game, so... So if I had to recommend any of them, I'd say one of those, you know. <laughs> but, but, oh, and we get Buster Blader out of the Buster Blader, 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 Blader pack. But yeah, this is one of them. If you were to play any of them, I'd recommend Acid Rain. It destroys all insects. All pff, insects. I can't read, guys. I'm sorry. All machine types on the field. And we got Buster Blader. Speaking of anti-dragon, that's an awesome card. That's awesome. Alright. And we got two more packs of Broken Seal. Let's see if we can get out of here. Another Acid Rain. Mahabilo. Alright. Anything new there? Eh, no, no. Nothing new. Alright. And last pack of Broken Seal. Let's do it, guys. Let's hope for something good. Headless Knight. Alright. And Crazy Dice. And anything new in this last pack? Let's see. Eh, no, 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 no. Uh, anyway, next we have two packs of Inherited Wheel. I'll just keep a screen max for this one. That way we can switch over pretty easy. Uh, I doubt we'll get anything new out of here. I remember we bought quite a lot. Honestly, Acid Trap Hole is pretty good. So I'll gladly take another one of those. And last pack, Inherited Wheel. Millennium Shield's good. Solid defense. I wouldn't really recommend going into Wall Shadow. Now, yeah, Fusion Stage is good. It kind of goes along with what I was talking about last episode. How uh, I would recommend Twin Head at Thunder Dragon. Yeah, because with Fusion Stage, you can just search Polymerization. And the Thunder Dragons can add themselves, two of themselves, from the deck to the hand. So that's really good. Baby Wagon. Alright, we have Infinite Illusion here. Black Lesser Soldier Pack, Fusion Gate. So, ooh, we get one of Joey's cards. Now, we've seen him use this a lot, but yeah, Dangerous Machine Type 6. Uh, pretty interesting here. One, you discard a card. Two, your opponent discards a card. Three, you draw a card. Four, your opponent draws a card. Five, destroy one card on your opponent's field. That is awesome. And six, destroy this card. And, of course, Horn of the Unicorn is pretty iconic uh, quick for Yugi. Uh, whenever it goes to the grave, it returns to the top of your deck, which 
is kind of good and kind of bad. It's good because it recurs itself, but it does stop you from drawing something else. So, ooh, Dynamis Dark Witch. That's honestly really good. Just an 1800, you know, kind of vanilla monster. That's pretty good, yeah. As you guys have seen, like, uh, power is kind of a good way to go in this game. It's still older, so you don't need, like, too many effect monsters, but, you know. Yeah, 1800 is solid, you know. You can pair it with some light support. And we get Black Pendant, which, uh, yeah, it's an equip that boosts by 500, and also if it's set from the field to the grave, it will burn the opponent for 500, so that's good. Another Dynamis Dark Witch. I'll take three of those all day. All day, man. That's a good card. All right, anything new? New? Oops. Anything new in this one? Let's see. Ah, copycat. Oh, we didn't have this yet. Me yeah, apple copycat. This is the more card you use. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. And copycat. If you ran it with a field boosting card like Yami or Luminous Spark, uh, what's nice is it'll copy their original attack, right? So let's say they have a Horse Raider. Copycat will copy it at 19, you have Luminous Spark, well now your Copycat goes up to 2400. So basically with a field card and Copycat, you can always destroy something in your way. Okay, Curse of Darkness, so we bought all that. Uh, Legendary History, oh, 10 packs, yeah, we're gonna be here a while, so. All right, let's see what we can get here. Jar of Reed, that's good. Collective Power, Gamma. All right, Numinous Healer, Jar of Reed solid unless you draw a card and of course the magnet warriors uh all three will combine to make valkyrion you know yugi's kind of best magnet warrior so well not his best but it, it's one of his good magnet warriors i'll say <laughs> all right what's next in the tomb blue eyes pack pin chopper dust tornado uh i don't know if we have any and sinister serpent is really good we already have that but oh we do have dust tornado already okay well at least we have another one because yeah spell and trap removal is good and uh sinister serpent i'm sure you guys have seen this a lot when i played dawn of destiny but yeah sinister serpent is legal in this game <laughs> which is really really good uh, yeah, during your standby phase, if this if this is pre-errata, pre-errata, which is awesome. So if it exists in your graveyard, you can return it to your hand. Yeah, basically infinite card advantage in your hand. So that infinite discard fodder, that is awesome. I'm very, 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 very glad we got that out of this pack. Because there's definitely no guarantee, but, you know. Uh, what else? Ooh! Hoo, 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 hoo. Ooh! Hoo, hoo. Wow, that's an awesome card. Speaking of cards, a discard, Delinquent Duo. Check this out, oh, guys. Pay a thousand of your life points. Your opponent randomly selects and discard one card from his or her hand, and then selects and discards another card from his or her hand. So basically, you pay a grand, and your opponent has to discard two cards. That is awesome. I love Delinquent Duo. I love it. So glad we got it. So you can get that out of the Legendary History pack, guys. So definitely, you know, if you haven't been grinding or anything, I would highly recommend, you know, you kind of soft reset. Basically, you save your game in your room before you open the packs. And yeah, try to open, you know, eh, probably like, I try to open like six Legendary History. See if you get it. And if you don't, just kind of reset and try again. So yeah. Highly recommend that card. Well, and, and Sinister Serpent. I, I would highly recommend both, honestly. Alright, anything new out of that? I think Toon Summon Skull might be new. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, basically, yeah, you can only play when two worlds on the field, but it is pretty strong at 2,500, so that's good. Alright, next pack. This two pack is being very good to us. Very good. So. Alright, Mind Control. I don't think we have that yet. Ooh, Giant Trunade. Did we have Giant Trunade? No, we did not. Awesome. Man, some really good cards out of this pack. Yeah, so Mind Control, you can take control of something to the end phase. It can't attack or be tributed, but sometimes it's just nice to get it out of the way. And Giant, 
giant true as I'm sure you guys know, one of Joey's staple cards. Yo, basically just clears the way for you. We'll return all spells and traps on the field to the owner's hand. Now this is good because like in a GX Duel Academy, you can loop it with stuff like Premature Burial and use Premature Burial twice. It is great. I love giant true <laughs> That's my card, blood. You just pulled it. Congratulations. Yeah. Joey and that Jinzo picks uh, bringing us luck. Ooh, DNA surgery. Yeah, that opens up some new deck ideas, definitely. And is Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon new? I think it might be. No, no, it's not. But yeah, Needleworm's new, and that's part of the kind of a deck out strategy, so that's good. Alright, next pass. He's been real good. Molten Destruction. Yeah, a good field card. Messenger of Peace is honestly really broke. Yeah. Yeah, uh, monsters with 1,500 or more can't declare an attack from either player. Yeah, pay 100 points during each year. That's like paying nothing, bro. <laughs> and, and so that this card is b broken, basically. So, really good card. All right, we'll open the last two in full view mode here. See, see if we can get anything interesting. Uh, collective power is good also, the first card. Uh, if you go up against someone with using a bunch of quips, you can basically take them all for yourself. And of course, Goblin Attack Force. Do I even need to say anything? It's a it's a card you can normal summon all the time, and, and it, it's at 2300. Really good. Uh, if you can manage to combine it with Skill Drain, or like Final Attack Orders, even better. But sometimes it's just nice to have something that threatening, you know. So. Alright, and we should get a new card list, because now we have 82% of this pack. Ooh, another Ancient Lamb. Another Time Sim. Wow, that's good. Ooh! Man, we're getting all the good discard effects. Card Destruction, now. Yep, yeah, both players discard all the cards in their hand, and then you draw the same number of cards. Now, a really, really, really good combo I like with Card Destruction is, uh, yeah, Card Destruction and Sinister Serpent, one of the cards we just pulled out of this pack, because that way, you basically get a free card with Sinister Serpent, and Sinister Serpent's gonna come back anyway, so. And sometimes it's nice, like, if you got a bunch of tributes in your hand, you know, throw away all your tributes, you know, and then if you set, if you set, like, a Monster Reborn or a Premature Burial before you Card Destruction, then you can just bring back, like, a Barrel Dragon or a Blue Eyes, something really awesome, so, right away, you know on your first turn, so. All right, and Magician's Soul is next. We got five of these. Let's see what we get, guys. So far, pretty good luck, pretty good luck, so. All right, Skull Invitation, lets you burn, and we get Barrel Dragon, which is really good. We already have a couple, but, yeah, each time a card's sent to the graveyard, click damage. Uh, 300 points per card. All right. Go back to Max View here for a second. Let's see what else we get. Will we get a Dog Magician? Dog Magic Attack. Mirror Wall is honestly pretty solid. Uh, as is Tribute Doll, I think Tribute Doll only works on level 7. Yeah, yeah. But it's pretty good, honestly. So, yeah. Alright, what's next? What's next? Morphing Jar 2. That's, that's good. What I like about Morphing Jar, and of course, reinforcements of the army, Rota, always good. But what I like about, yeah, Rhoda's new, so that's awesome. What I like about Morphing Jar number two, not only can it mill, but it basically ends the battle phase anytime it's used, because all of the monsters that are special summoned are special summoned face down. Yeah, so, very good card, very good card. All right, and last two packs. Reinforcements of the army is always solid, lets you get any uh, level four or lower warrior from your deck to your hand. Uh, I think that's Magic Formula. Oh, wow, that's that's a weird name they gave it in this game. Dark Magician's Tome of Black Magic. Yeah, basically this is Magic Formula. Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl gains 700 attack. So that would put Dark Magician over Blue Eyes at 3200. That's pretty good. And uh, Secondary Effect, when this is sent from the, to the graveyard, cover a thousand life points. Now something you can do with that is you can uh, summon it off of magical hats, uh, you know, to like reset a flip effect, and also when the tome is sent to the graveyard, you will gain the life points, so that's awesome. And wow, 
Now I summon Big Shield Gun in defense mode. One of Yugi's uh, signature card. That's crazy. A normal summon with 2600 defense. Uh, it does have its effects to uh, yeah protect from a spell while I face down. You hardly ever see that come up, but the secondary effect. If it is attack, it will change to attack at the end. But something you can do is like, for example, those three cards I just mentioned, uh, Magic Formula, this card, and Magical Hats. Well, you can let it get attacked the first time, and then if they're about to attack it again, boom, Magical Hats. To set it back in the defense mode. And the AI is pretty dumb in this game, so they'll probably just attack you again. Even though they should know, like, oh, well, he did play something with a really high defense. Maybe I shouldn't attack all these face downs, <laughs> you know, created by magical hats, but yeah, the AI is pretty, pretty exploitable in this game. Ah, nothing new there. Revival Jam is always good, though. Alright, Visitor from Beyond, what time are we at? Ah, about 15 minutes, we can keep going. We'll keep going to about 20 minutes in this video, and then we'll end. Ooh, I'm sure that's definitely new. Destiny War. Oh, it's not. Well, well anyway. Yeah, alternate win, uh, condition card, just like Exodia, so. All right, 75%, can we get, I think we need like three new cards to get a card list out of this one. Ooh, exc that's a good card, Excavation of Mage Stones, as is Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial combos really well with Sinister Serpent, I'm sure you guys know. But yeah, this, this card, two cards, uh, return a spell from your graveyard to your hand. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so how many of these do we got? Five? All right, let's keep going. All right, Tricky Tunes. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if we can get Jinzo, the card over here by Joey. It is on the cover. It is on the cover. Well, actually, it's kind of behind. It's kind of behind Dark Magician Girl there, but yeah, let's see if we can get it. Let's, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's Jinzo. Yeah, you can see, see him behind the tune Dark Magician Girl there. All right, Jinzo. I got Joey, Joey, Joey looking at me with a smile. Please come to me, Jinzo. I believe in the heart of the cards. Ah, Sasuke Samurai number two is good, especially if you're trying to close out a game. Yeah, pay 800 during your main phase, and then uh, spell and traps can't be activated until the end phase. Now, obviously, what you want to do with this is activate all the spells and traps you want to. You know, before you pay the 800, and then, you know, pay the 800, close out the game, GG, no re, right? Hey, offering to the Doom, hey, it ain't bad. You know, destroy a face up monster, skip your next draw phase. Uh, but if it's gonna save you the duel, then do it. Do it, man. Do it to it. All right, what else we get? Gather your mind, Nutrient Z, Shoot Cannon Soldier. All right. Oh, a Toon Cannon Soldier is new. Yeah, I prefer this one, honestly, to regular Cannon Soldier, just because it's so searchable with a uh, Toon Table of Contents. But yeah, it works basically just like the regular Cannon Soldier, except it, it has the usual Toon effect. It can't attack on the turn it summons, so. Multiplication of eggs. We will be proud. <laughs> now I wait, multiplication of eggs. <laughs> I have Cornholio. Yes, yes. Oh, also this card's new. Uh, yeah. When this card is successfully summoned, place one magic counter. Uh, I thought this was a spell counter card. Huh. Maybe it's just the wording in this game, but anyway. Yeah, destroy one trap on the field. Now, unfortunately, you would think this works on any trap, but this card only works on face-up traps, like Call of the Haunted or some kind of continuous trap. So yeah, don't be fooled. Uh, Breaker the Magical Warrior is much better than that card. As far as, you know, inherent spell counter and then removal, so. But yeah. Yeah, no Jinzo there, but we did get the Tune Table of Contents, which is good. All right, last pack. Can we do it, guys? Please, Jinzo. I believe in the heart of the cards. Guide me. Meteor destruction. That's interesting. <gasps> we did it, guys. We did it. Oh, let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, Jinzo, baby. Yeah, machine card, 2400, 1500 defense. As long as it remains face up on the field, trap cards cannot be activated. The effects are also negated. Hell yeah, baby, we got Jinzo. 
thanks, Joey. <laughs> yeah, I summon Jinzo. <laughs> Looks like all your trap cards are useless, Merrick. <laughs> that is awesome. And that is perfect. And what time are we at? Man, we're at like 19 minutes and 52 seconds. Okay. I could honestly, I couldn't ask for a better end to the episode. <laughs> Wow, wow, that is awesome. And hi there, Flood. You've got a hey, lot of cards. Let me give you a least chance at present. I know you can collect them all. So we got a list of legendary history, tricky tunes. There we go. Because we got 80% of both of those. Well, all right, guys. Well, I'm definitely going to save that. Let's see. So, save state. Yeah, because we got some great cards. Delinquent Duo, uh, uh, Sinister Serpent. Jinzo card destruction like man we got some good stuff today and we're not done we're not done well we're done for this episode but in the next episode we will continue buying more pets so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all next time haha <laughs> bye bye Alright, so next time we have one, two, three, we got four more packs, so, alright, see you.